bit of ground keeping this is what I do maintain the place clean up around here I've got the back hoe down there just in case it does get away but I don't think it will there's plenty of space between there and there and a whole heap of space on the other side I've already notified the fire brigade so I won't get a call out today which is good Let it so it was in the middle and burn the middle out and push it in. A lot of dead trees around here. So I'm tidying them up. That's a nice hot spot in there. Look at that. Wow. There's some big trees in there though. Let it on the back side of it as well. This is the hot spot right there. I can feel the heat from here. Burning my face. So that's why I made sure it was away from these trees up here. Because I knew that would be a hot spot. I could have had it probably at about another three metres further down, but I couldn't couldn't put it that way. There was already some there. So I couldn't put the old backhoe down here, it doesn't push much. She's an old thing, no brakes. Your bucket is your brake. Uh, that'll probably burn for a good week. That's my estimation. I'm not proud to burn it, but we've got no other way of getting rid of it. But at least the fire fireies know that, you know, I give them a specific time and I've stuck to that time. There's not much smoke in the air, so that's pretty good. And that's what they say light at a certain time you won't it won't stay down it'll get up in the atmosphere and um, create rain they reckon oh, I don't know how that works but anyway anyway that's just a short one for the day making sure that I get it all pushed in keeping an eye on it Just after half an hour, 30 minutes, I'm about to push that one there in. It has died down dramatically, but it's still pretty hot. Um, I'll go around and have a look at the other side. I'm actually still sitting on the back out, keeping in the shade. Oh uh, yeah. Show you when I'm done what five minutes of pushing up does so I pushed all of this in to make a bit of a fire break from all the green grass not that it'd get away anyway I pushed these two further in it's the end of the hot side I can't get to this side it's just too hot so I'll let that die down I'll get to that when it cools down a little bit burns a lot more off I'll probably come back in probably three or four hours couldn't get into there either just way too hot up here and with that backhoe not having any brakes this is a downhill thing and I don't want it to burn so I'll eventually push all of that this way so that's pretty hot make good campfire I can stand in uh, probably 15 metres away from it. Oh, I can still feel the heat. That's fairly hot. And I'll bring this back when I push more in. Been about three hours. Finally burnt down. I'll be pushing all of this stuff in that's here. A little bit loose. Get it all into a smaller pile. It's not so hot now, which is good. So I'll get all that in. I'll start from this side, push that over. Got a whole heap of twigs and God knows what up here. But yeah, that's a lot different to what it was. It's not hot at the moment. We'll get rid of all those cactuses and push all of that in. Make it all one pile. 
there's a lot of dirt in there when this actually is all out i'll give it a week or so i'll level all that extra dirt that's been pushed up back out again i'll just level it out with the backhoe so let's get to it and uh push her all up a little bit of work from the old backhoe still got a log there that i didn't quite get in the stump there but i'll come back tomorrow tomorrow afternoon and uh check on the progress of this and uh this is a fair few big stumps in there that'll probably burn for a while got it all pushed up as best as i can not easy not having a vehicle without no brakes but i got it a fair way in but when it is out i will level all the dirt back out so just things i've got to do around here to maintain where we're staying general cleanup they don't ask me to do this i do it out of my own intuition thinking what that needs doing got a little bike down there that i ride around on other than that but yeah all the machinery to go with it she's not the best looking machinery but it does the job backhoe part of it works took me a while to learn how to do that i'll tell you what but anyway power steering's a bit a bit leaky on it it's almost like she's got a hole somewhere there they keep topping it up they won't do any maintenance to it because this place doesn't own this um it's been sitting here for many many years so yeah just a bit of a general clean up for the day and uh i'll keep you updated and posted on this just another little pick up that i had to, had to do flying on the ground just a lot of dead trees take it up for the burn pile she's a rough old machine Come back 
surely. Just it all up. Even leveled some of the dirt out down here. Poor old Baco, she's lost a lot of steer and I can only put the bucket down and, and then turn the wheel. She uh, probably needs an, a bit of TLC. Um, but yeah, just one of those things that happen. So I'll leave that now for probably a couple of days. Might check it on tomorrow. Um, no way I can level a bit more dirt out. And, uh, yeah, that's all I can do at the moment. I've got a bit of fencing I've got to do. I might go and do that this afternoon before I finish the day off. So it has been a very productive day with having to burn that off. And I've got to go do a fence now. Only because the tree landed on the fence. Not much I can do about it. Anyway, like, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.